Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My goodness, it feels so good to say that. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Bienvenidos. We are doing our first video of 2019. That's what we're doing today. It's so crazy to say that still, but um, I hope you guys are excited for the new year. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my goals for the year. It's not gonna be a super structured video at all. I'm just gonna sit here, kick back, chill, and share with you guys some of my goals. I don't know why, but I feel like this video is like the syllabus. You know when you go back to school and you get the syllabus and it tells you the rundown of what the year is gonna look like in your class, and that day is like super chill, kick back, it's the intro. Well, that's that's exactly what I want the vibe of this video to be, just chill, kick back. I'm just gonna share with you guys kind of a recap, and I would love, love, love if you guys were to start a conversation in the comments section as well, sharing some of your goals, anything that you're willing to share. Um, and who knows, maybe some of us will implement some of those on our goal list. So with all of that being said, Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm of course gonna start with my recap. I already went back and watched my video from last year, which was, I was kind of cringy because I don't like going back to my old videos and watching, I don't know why. But I went back, watched my recap video of last year and I was so, surprised at how much I achieved and did this past year without even going back and watching that video. Throughout the year, I never went back and watched that video to see what my goals were and if I'm on the right track and stuff. I just filmed the video that day, posted it, went on about my year, and now looking back, I actually did a lot of the things that I had put on my list, which is just manifestation you guys but last year 2018 one of the things that i had on my list was to avoid negativity specifically unfollowing certain social media accounts that just didn't feed me in the right positive way and i've managed to keep that alive basically all of that year and up until now i don't follow any social media accounts that are about like drama or gossip or just stuff like that negativity i don't when it comes to who i follow on social media i really only follow people that inspire me who i feel connection to family members and pages that share like positive quotes photos stuff like that i try to keep my feed that way i went through and even follow unfollowed a lot of people that i don't even talk to that i know but we haven't talked in like months or years so it's kind of like what's the point point? and it's not to be rude it's just like i want to make sure that i'm following people that are feeding me in the way that i want to be fed okay no but seriously though so that's one of the things that i did and then one, uh, one other thing that I have on here was to be myself a lot more on camera and to speak more Spanish in my videos. And throughout the year, I did that as well. I was a lot more myself on camera. Even looking back at my recap video from last year, I feel like I was too, how do you say it? Like I wasn't being myself. I was trying too hard to be professional and perfect in my videos and that's not what that's that's not what it's all about okay so now i'm a little bit more loose and more myself and i have implemented more spanish on my channel as well i added the little bienvenidos in the beginning of my videos and sometimes i'll sprinkle in some spanish music and stuff like that so i want to keep that going because that is me like that's part of who i am and I wanna make sure I'm being as raw and authentic on my channel. But of course, there are gonna be still those videos where I'm a little bit more polished and professional because it's either like a sponsored post or just because I want to be for that specific video or whatever. And then I wanted to have a meetup last year. That's one of the things that I did not achieve. I did get to meet a lot of you guys throughout the year, but I didn't host and have a meetup at all. And it's actually a lot harder than I imagined, especially when it comes to like location, security, and not getting kicked off the premises and all of that stuff. So I really have to think about how I wanna go about having a meetup, but I still really wanna have one. 
like something spontaneous hopefully this year we'll see i'm gonna I'm gonna pray on it and work on it and see if i can come up with something but i like i said before if i have a meetup my first meetup is going to be here in the LA area in LA County because that's it's my hometown. I gotta have my first meetup here. I wanted to also get on track for buying a home and I did semi achieve that in 2018. It was very up and down. There were moments literally last year where I felt like I could have started the process of buying a home, but then something would happen. It just, it wasn't meant to be for me at that time. And now, I feel like I can kind of start working towards that this year or maybe next year. And I'm not necessarily in a rush to buy a home yet. I have a feeling for some reason that I'm gonna end up moving sometime this year, but it's not gonna be buying a home just yet. So we'll see. Again, I don't wanna plan too much, like I've said before, but that's one of the things that I wanted to do last year and I kind of did, but then I fell off track and now I'm trying to get back on track, if that makes sense. Giving back to the community, this is also something that I did start doing this past year. I started to donate a lot of stuff and I also started doing those little blessing bags, which I got that idea from Raven, Raven Elise here on YouTube. She does these blessing bags where you put like socks, hand sanitizer, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, snacks, uh, food, water all kinds of things in a Ziploc bag and you give it away to people in need, the homeless. If you're getting off the freeway and somebody's there asking for money, you can give them a blessing bag. I wanna keep doing that moving forward for this year as well. Adopting a dog, I have Toby now and he is crazy, he's a handful. Creating long-term relationships with brands. I did get to work with Eco Tools this past year on a long-term for the entire year was a long-term contract. I was one of their Eco Elite members for their Make Life Happen campaign, and it was such a cool campaign. And then I worked with Olay. Sorry, I keep looking down here because I have my notes, but I also worked with Olay on multiple campaigns this past year, and I think the year before that as well. Investing in more filming equipment, I did get a new lens, a few new lenses this year, and I also got a new vlogging camera, which was one of the things that I really wanted to upgrade. And I also got Final Cut Pro, which is a cool like 300 bucks. I was like, I'm not gonna want to spend that much on an editing software, but I ended up getting it and I do like it, but I don't use it as much as I probably should investing in myself i did do a little bit of that this past year i did some splurges and i also saved up for some things that i really really wanted and traveling i got to travel pretty a pretty good amount the second half or even the last fourth of the year i did quite a bit of traveling and then even up to this year i am going to be doing a lot more traveling as well Ooh, my foot's asleep my foot is asleep. All right, now for this year, 2019, I broke it down into little categories for myself, which I would definitely recommend. If you're not somebody that likes to do like the vision boards and stuff, it's still nice to break it down in sections. For me, I have career, love, health, wealth, and prosperity and personal goals here. And we'll start with career. I'm gonna go in that order that I said. So for career, my job, YouTube, social media, I want to worry less about my feed and just post. I worry so much about the aesthetic and how my feed looks when people go on my profile or even sometimes here on YouTube. And I want to do less of that. I wanna just post and post and post and give you guys still good content, but not worry so much about the color scheme or whatever. Just posting good quality photos, but being more consistent at it. So that's what I wanna do. And in general, just posting like on my Insta story, posting whatever I want, instead of being like, oh, well this is Instagram, not Snapchat, so I don't wanna post this, or I don't wanna post lip singing videos, or I don't wanna post my food, or I don't wanna post this because it's, it's supposed to be more professional because it's Instagram. No, I wanna just start posting anything and being more open and sharing a lot of different things with you guys without having to be so 
picture perfect all the time, if you know what I mean. Again, I'm still gonna post good quality content and more professional stuff sometimes, but I still want to share those random moments or those not so pretty things on social media as well. I want to start up, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, but I want to start up my Sabrina Speaks series again this year and soon at that. If you guys don't even know what that is, so I started a Sabrina Speaks series here on my channel a while ago where I would have you guys send in your situations, whatever it was about, whether family, work, relationship, school, and I would sit down and give you my personal advice on your situation. And it wasn't necessarily me sitting here telling you what to do, but more so just giving you my thoughts because sometimes you just need another perspective and somebody who you don't know, just an unbiased opinion. So that's the series and I really want to get started with it again. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to as well, so I am going to start doing it again soon. I will let you guys know and update you on that. I want to upgrade my video sound quality. My quality right now is good, but I feel like you have to really raise up the volume on your TV or your phone or your laptop in order to hear me loud and clear. So I want to really take the time to figure out my audio. Now for the love portion of my goals, I haven't even told you guys on here, but if you follow me on my Instagram, you would already know that your girl is booed all the way up. And so for my goals, for my love life, traveling, I would love to be able to continue to travel with my boyfriend. One thing that I would love to do more of is to be a lot more in touch with my spiritual side. Growing up, I did the, the whole thing, the baptism, first communion, confirmation for my quinceanera. I had it at the church, so all of it. I want to be a lot more involved. And this isn't to like throw religion at you guys, I'm just telling you what I wanna do. I wanna be a lot more spiritual on many different levels. And if I can be spiritual with my significant other, then why not? He's already that way and I think that he, being with him kind of brought that to light a lot more for me, so I love that. Another thing that falls under the love category is to teach and learn better life habits. So just things that I think, that things that I've learned and experienced that I can share with him that he can learn from would be great. Also vice versa, things that he has learned and experienced in his life, whether it's in relationships or anything, family, anything that we can learn and feed off each other, that's what I want to bring more to the table for this year. One of the last things that I have here that I'm going to share, because I still have some goals that I'm keeping, you know, right here, very near and dear to my heart, but the last thing for the love category is to explore together as a couple, and that can be on a lot of different levels as well, just doing new things and being spontaneous and just having fun, enjoying the ride. I know some of you guys are dying to know like more about him and about us and you know, maybe I'll share with you guys a story time soon. I don't know when he'll be coming on camera just because he's not used to all of this, like he's not used to this social media YouTube world at all. He doesn't have to come on here. If he wants to, he can and whenever he is ready. But maybe I'll, I'll sit down here by myself and tell you guys a story time of how we know each other, how we came about and all that good stuff. But yeah. Now for the health portion of this. I want to take more vitamins, daily vitamins. Just I need to be on that. I want to drink Keyword, drink more greens. I don't think I can eat, I don't know what it is, the crunchiness, the texture of vegetables is just not my thing. Last year, I did go through a pretty big phase where I was like working out, working out, working out. And I wanna, I don't wanna get back into being like that. I wanna slowly make my way. So I want to start going on like hikes or going to the beach and doing workouts or like little things, even working out here in the backyard and then build my way up to working out a lot more often. Like I was on the grind last year 
and then it kind of like life happened I just got super lazy and I never went back to going to the gym not only that but where I used to live at the apartments there was a gym right there and I was able just to walk and work out so it was a lot easier for me now I gotta like get a membership or I gotta figure out how to work out here at home so I gotta do it and get back into it and then I want to get my hair back on track to being super healthy right now my ends I need a trim I'm gonna trim my hair I'm gonna dye it and then I'm gonna trim it and kind of get it like back to being super healthy like it was last year on top of that I want to try new hairstyles wealth and prosperity I want to be a lot more financially aware and by that I mean not only I know obviously who doesn't want to make more money each year you want to obviously keep growing in that aspect as well but I want to not only keep doing my job and making money with what I do but I also want to know what to do with my money where I should put it as far as like taxes and all of that stuff like I just want to be a lot more financially aware and smart with my money I want to also trim down my expenses all of those things I want to really just lock down on for this year and I suggest if you guys are around my age and don't already have this lined up you need to hop on this wagon with me and do it with me as well I also want to pay as much as I can towards my debt so my student loans and my car those are the two main sources of debt that I have and I want to just I really want to cut one of those out ASAP. Personal goals, I already mentioned this, I want to become a lot more spiritually invested. I want to find a hobby. This YouTube and filming videos started as a hobby for me and I made it into my job, my career, and I want to find something aside from this that is also fun that I love doing. I also want to learn to be a little bit more patient with a lot of things. I am a very impatient person and sometimes that's a good thing sometimes it's a not so good thing and i want to learn to just sometimes zen out relax if you need to get something done and you can give it a day or two or a week or a month then do that i a lot of times i'm like this needs to get done i'm gonna do it now and this also needs to get done and i'm gonna do it right after and so i just keep going which is good because i get a lot of the things that i want to get done fast but sometimes I'm like this like I mentioned again earlier in the video for some reason I feel like I'm not done moving like obviously I'm gonna move again but I feel like I'm gonna move again before I actually buy a home and I feel like I'm gonna move this year I don't know what it is something I just have that feeling and if I do move again I want to find a place that I'm gonna be at for more than a year. I need to find a place that I'm gonna stay at until I buy my home. If I don't move and I stay here at my parents' house and this is where I'm gonna be at till I buy a house, then that's perfectly fine as well. And if I do stay here, I wanna make sure to completely finish up this space and decorate it and organize it exactly how I want it. And those are my goals for 2019. I'm just really looking forward to what this year brings. Last year was a blessing and a lot of things happened last year that all led to where I am right now. And I'm so thankful for it all, even the moments where I didn't feel like were the best. I, I now, I feel good. I'm happy and I'm in a good place, especially to start off the new year. So I hope you guys are excited for the content that I'm going to bring to you guys this year. If you don't want to comment with your goals for the year, you can comment with any video ideas for your girl because I have a list right here, a list of all kinds of video ideas that you guys um requested on my instagram happy new year to you guys once again thank you so much for watching i love you all los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video